Hello, I'm Gao Hongxia, an ASIC member from Washington DC, the United States. Now I'm studying finance in Johns Hopkins University Carey Business School. I am a passionate person and always look for opportunities to improve myself. During my college, I interned in an insurance company and a security company to forge strong communication skills and financial skills. I'm also a curious person and love to travel around the world to experience different cultures. Last year, I went to Malaysia as an exchange student. Then I went to Indonesia to visit disabled children. After that, I went to Egypt as a voluntary English teacher. All this experience expand my mind, my horizon. I love that. In my spare time, I love to do sports. I used to be a table tennis coach and organizer in the table tennis club. Last summer, I spent two months in Egypt as a voluntary English teacher. I taught Egyptian children basic and conversational English. At that time, I was so shocked by their reactions because I can always see their desires to learn more about English, the desire to have a successful life. And whenever I hug them, I show kindness to them, they will kiss me back. I was never imagined that I was so important before. So at that moment, I determined to use my financial knowledge to serve the community. So apart from teaching Egyptian children basic English, I also worked for an Egyptian NGO, Modern Language Academy, as a marketing intern. My job duty is to bring this non-profit organization into public and bring its increase its reputation. What we did is to set up a Facebook website and design some really funny English、uh, games to engage more students. Into this organization, so that did work because we recruited ten more students through this website, and this experience equipped me with the ability of working in an international environment, and also teaches me a lot of marketing skills. So I'm a finance student and I have a bad, strong background in finance. I learned a lot about.、Uh, You know, risk management and how to make budget. So I want to put my knowledge into practice, and also I always look for some avenues to combine humanity and uh, uh, finance together. So this program, I think, perfectly combines my interests together. So that's why I want to apply for this program, and also this program gives me the、uh, consultancy experience and teaches me the management skills. So. That will give me a competitive edge in my future job seeking. So there are a few steps that I think are very important to complete a research work. The first one is you need to be very certain what your goal is. I mean, what your direction is, what do you want to go. Then you can make a proposal to your target audience. Maybe it's the NGO manager, maybe it's the NGO executives. And then you need to present to them how much time it will take for each task to be completed, and how much money it will take. And then you need to、uh, do some research to prove that your proposal is very reasonable. After that, you need to say if there are two similar tasks that can be done simultaneously, and that will save you a lot of time. And then I strongly recommend to spare some time for yourself. Because we are human beings, we all make mistakes. So spare some time will give you some air to breathe, so that you can find the mistakes by yourself,、uh, so that you can find something you haven't noticed before to improve on. A lot of people think that development plans are just the, you know setting up rules and process so that people can follow the standards you set before. But in my opinion, that's not the case. You know, development plans are developing. You need to increase your ability to adapt to the changing world, to the outside environment, so that you can work more efficiently. When it comes to the reality of the NGO, I think the NGO needs to, you know, recruit 
a group of diverse people to encourage people to think critically and、uh, creatively, so that they can respond to the changes of the outside world more quickly and more efficiently. Apart from that, I think the NGO should always know its position in the market, what it was before, and what it wants to be in the future. So that will help it to develop a very concrete and reasonable plan. If I can't get too many instructions from NGO, the first thing I want to do is to be very clear about my tasks. I need to figure out the most important thing I need to finish immediately, and then I will use data to analyze my research work. Because analyzing data gives me a very big picture of which place we did very well and which place we need to improve on. Finally, I will do something to improve NGO slogan. Some NGO slogan like、uh, "Wash your hands or you will be infected" conveys a very negative message to the public, so the public cannot follow you. Instead of conveying such a pessimistic attitude. You should convey this slogan into "Wash your hands, enjoy your life," so people are very happy to hear that, and then they will follow your instruction, and your slogan can be successful, and then your NGO can be successful. So, as a business person, I think I can provide a lot of financial knowledge to NGO to help it、uh, improve its financial situations because NGO needs a lot of money. So making a budget is a central part to NGO. That's the first one, and also I'm a very good team player. I cooperate with people、uh, very well. I can work in an international environment, so I can contribute a lot to our team. I always. Put、uh, my team's interests before mine. So I'm totally okay with the living standards because I went to Turkey to do a volunteer job. I, so I don't have a very high expectation for the living、uh, standards. And also, I used to live in a big city, so it always takes me a lot of time to go to my destinations. Um, but actually, you know, actually, I enjoy this、um, kind of lifestyle because. You know, it、uh, makes you more relaxed during the long journey to your destination, and also you can meet some new friends when you take the bus.、Uh, about the rooms, also I'm okay with sharing another a room with another person because I used to、uh, share a bed with、uh, an Indian girl in Egypt. And at the end of the program, we are best friends, and we are still best friends now. I learn a lot from her. So sharing a room with another person from another country is the best way for me to make、uh, friends, to develop mutual relationships. So I'm okay with that.